the moment we met, I knew you were trouble <laughs> in the best way possible. I was far from looking for anyone. I was ready to leave New York and I was moving to Nashville and I had plans. Plans that instantly meant nothing when you came into my world. Before you, I had come, terms, come to terms with the idea that I didn't want to get married or more that it just wasn't a necessity for me. Relationships had been hard and I had decided that if someone didn't make my life better 80% of the time and vice versa, that it wasn't worth it for either of us. I can honestly say that over the past four and a half years, you've come in at a strong 95%. <laughs> I can only hope to come that close for you. To quote a song that I can't listen to without crying, then you found me and everything changed and I believe in something again. You make me laugh every day and you challenge me to be the best version of myself. You truly make my life not only better but as close to perfect as I could ask for. I'm never gonna give you up. I'm never gonna let you down. I'm never gonna turn around and hurt you. Yes, I just recalled you in my vows. You're welcome. <laughs> But, but in all seriousness, I, I promise to always listen to you and hear you, even when you're going off on a crazy tangent. I promise to love you as much when you're at your worst as I do when you're at your best, and to love you enough to tell you which is which. I will forever be your biggest supporter, your greatest champion. I cannot wait to spend my future with you. I love you. All right. All right. Mason jars, mason jars, mason jars. I love you because of mason jars. Sorry, I had to do that. Uh, but you know why I had to do that, and that's why I love you. Honestly, part of me wanted to read this whole thing like Rick from Rick and Morty, but I was pretty sure you'd kill me. But you'd also be laughing slightly on the inside because you get the show. <laughs> but I promised myself you would love my vows, so I didn't. That's how much I love you. <laughs> But in truth, I never even had to meet you to fall in love with you. You're the woman of my dreams, so I was already in love with you. I literally just had to meet you. Incredibly, by happenstance, which I will always remember as the luckiest day of my life. You're all of the cliches, beautiful, smart, and funny, but more importantly, you're the things I care about the most. Crazy, unpredictable, and you put up with my insanity, which also makes you a saint of biblical proportions. <laughs> I know we joke that I drink a lot of beer, but I can't wait to be drunk for the rest of my life off nuptial bliss with you. I love you, Duba. Duba. We can't kiss you. Can't kiss you. <laughs> and in accordance with the laws of the state of Florida, it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. In the words of our favorite novelist, William Goldman, who penned The Princess Bride, the movie, if you haven't seen it, you should, there have been five great kisses since 1642 BC. And the precise rating of a kiss is a terribly difficult thing, often leading to great controversy. May this kiss leave them all behind. Please seal your vows with a kiss.